The City of St. John's is planning for the future. Understanding the budget and what's involved in the budgeting process will help you understand how we use your tax dollars to provide the services and programs you have come to expect from us. Although the City uses a three-year planning process, we are required by legislation to submit a balanced budget each year. First of all, the City has two different budgets, an operating budget for day-to-day -day operations and a capital budget for one-time expenses, such as upgrades or investments for the future. Every year, the City of St. John spends about $300 million providing services such as fire protection, garbage collection, snow clearing, recreation, water and wastewater. These services are necessary to keep the City running and make it an enjoyable place to live. Expenditures, money going out, and revenue, money coming in, are projected annually in the city budget. Budgeting for a large municipality is a complex process, but it's not unlike budgeting for your family. Step one for the city is to figure out how much money is needed to provide services and operate effectively. Those are the expenditures. Step two is to determine how much revenue is needed to meet the projected expenses. Think about your household expenses. You have a certain amount of revenue coming in as salary or savings or loans. All of your expenses for the year, rent, groceries, clothing, heat and light, gas, school programs and so on, must all come from your revenue in order to have a balanced budget. If your household expenses exceed your income, you'd be in debt. Provincial legislation requires municipalities to not have a deficit. The City of St. John's has a few different revenue streams, but most of our revenue comes from water and property tax, 72% in fact. The remaining 28% of our budget comes from user fees for programs and services, like the cost of swimming lessons or renting a facility, permits, fines, and government grants and subsidies. To figure out what portion of the cost to run the city each property owner pays, the city assesses all properties and comes up with a mill rate or multiplier. Although taxation affects us all differently, all residential property tax is calculated using the same method. To determine your tax bill, we multiply the assessed value of your home by the mill rate and then add the water tax. All property owners have their land and building assessed every three years by professional assessors who use industry standards to make sure the process is fair and equitable. It's a big job, which is part of the reason we don't do it every single year. Each year, the city is only allowed to set one rate for commercial property owners and one rate for residential property owners.